Hello guys. In this video, I will introduce you to a very powerful data analysis and manipulation tool called as Pandas, which is built on top of Python programming language. In this video, we will learn how to install Pandas library and what do we mean by Pandas series and what do we mean by Pandas data frame. So let's get started. First thing to do before using Pandas is to install it, right? So in order to install it, all you have to do is you open your command prompt and just type in pip install pandas pip install pandas once you hit enter it will start downloading and installing the package in your local machine since i already have this installed in my machine it says requirement already satisfied so i don't have to install it again right so if you do not have already installed it you just follow this particular step and you will have your pandas installed in your local system right so it 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 will be fairly easy to understand pandas when we explore it using jupyter notebook so let me just spin up a jupyter notebook by saying jupyter notebook okay so once it comes up uh, we will open a new notebook and then start importing the library and start to understand how to work with pandas okay so let me just create a notebook and bring that to here so that you all can see it okay so so in order to make use of pandas you'll have to import it so i'll say import pandas and i'll give some alias import pandas as pd so this is actually a standard procedure where everyone will use pandas like this if you are not comfortable with importing it as pd you can import it like anything uh, any name you want so it's just an alias it doesn't matter okay so now i have imported the pandas library so for you guys to demonstrate or give you the introduction i need to have some data set so let me check where to have the data sets so if i go to my ml implementations okay i have some data sets available here let me open up the one for regression okay so let me read that i'll copy this i'll read this csv file these are all my csv files i'll read the csv file using my pandas into something called as data frame i'll tell you what to mean by data frame okay so for that all i have to do is df is my variable is equal to pd dot this pandas will give you a list of methods which you can use based on your source right here my source is csv file i'll make use of csv if you want to read a json file you can read a json file if you want to read a html page you can read the html page right if you want to read from sql query or if you directly want to read from sql table you can make use of the respective options or methods available within pandas library so in in this case it's pandas pd dot read csv and it accepts the file path as our parameter and the file name will be 50 startups multivariate let me just import that okay now i have this so if i execute it i have read this particular data which is present in this particular csv into my variable df okay so if i check df it will display me the data that we have okay so in order to check how many rows we have there is a method called as df dot shape and the first value is the number of rows and the second value is the number of columns okay so this is what the data looks like and whatever you see here these are column names in pandas it's also called as column index and whatever numbers you can see here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so these are all our index for the rows so these are our row index and these are our column index and we have given column names to those column index okay so this is how you can read a csv data into a pandas using pandas using read csv method and whatever the variable you read in this will be called as a data frame so if you check type of this df it will call pandas core frame data frame so it's of type data frame right so there is something called as series so if i check df dot so df of if i want to select only one column here so let's say administration So this will be of type series. Okay. So now if I check df of administration type, so 
that it gives me the type as pandas series so what you can make out of this series you can think of it as a collection of only one column so one column together all together we will call it as a series with respect to pandas and if we stack those multiple multiple columns besides one another it will give us a data frame okay if we have more than one column in our data set that will be treated as data frame if we have only one column it will be treated as series but there is another way where we can have this series also i mean only one column also we can represent it as a pandas data frame in order to do that you have to enclose it in another set of square bracket so this will give you your pandas data frame with only one column in it okay so hope the distinction is clear between what we mean by series and what we mean by data frame and how we can have only one column also in terms of data frame okay so this is how you can read a data csv data into a data frame using pandas library now there are some methods associated with it so if i say df dot head it will give me the top 5 records so what happens here we have only 50 records in this particular data set so now this is displaying all the records so let's say if we have 100000 records or millions of records in our csv file or from any source where we are reading the data from so in in order to display how in order to get an idea how the data looks like it's not viable right in order to display everything in our local machine right so it will consume a lot of resources and also it will take up a lot of time so in order to just have a quick idea on how the data looks like you can make use of df.head which will by default display the top five records present in the data frame so what is the data frame data frame is again the it contains the data read from our csv so df.head will return you the top five records from this particular csv that we have read in okay so if you want to display top 10 records you can pass a parameter here df.head of 10 so it will display you top 10 records so similarly if you want to check the last five records right so there is something called as tail df.tail so this will return you the last five records in your data file right so you can make it out by the just the name head and tail head means the top tail means the bottom right so if you want to instead of just last five records if you want to read last 10 records if you want to uh, see the see the last 10 records in the data file you can just pass in 10 as a parameter to the tail method just like you pass to head and this will return you the last 10 records from your data file okay so this is how you can read the data from a csv file into a pandas data frame check its shape so the shape attribute it's actually an attribute okay associated with this particular data frame variable so this will be a tuple and it will give you the shape of the data frame in particular so the first number is the number of records or the number of rows we have and the second number will be the number of columns that we have in our data frame so this is how you can read the sample data and if you want to check or list out all the columns present in the data frame so here we have only five columns so we are able to see everything so suppose if we have around 50 columns it will not be displaying all the 50 columns okay so in order to check the all the columns present in this what you can say df dot columns so you will see all the columns in a list and we have this as index so initially i told you right these are all called as column index and these are all called as row index okay so this is how we can list out all the columns present in this so i think uh, this is good enough for introduction to pandas uh, in my upcoming videos i will talk about uh, the methods available in pandas data frame how we can access individual rows or individual columns and multiple rows and multiple columns okay so there are methods called as lock, i lock, and many more interesting things that we can do with this particular data analysis tool called as pandas so hope you guys are learning from my videos uh, if you are uh, liking the content please give it a thumbs up and share it among your peers please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye